in the heat race. The tire punched a little bit too soft. 12 cars getting ready to go. We've already lost one in what's been an eventful night to this point. Appreciate you folks being here for family fun night. Who's ready for the first feature to go green? Well, get ready now, because here they come. Timmy Todd Jr., Danny Fry, set to lead the field to green. Green flag is out, and we are underway with our first main event. Who's going to get the jump? Give it to Danny Fry on the outside lane. That blue number 12 powers up, and he's got a three-car length, four-car length lead down the back straightaway. Battles on for second. Matthew Green dives to the inside. Some sparks. As the sun goes down and the pressures are low on these cars. Bowser so already up past a couple of them. Watch that orange 16 come from the back of the field. Bad news for Clouser is good news for us, the race fan. Don Keith Lee sideways on the back, hangs onto it. Danny Fry in the 12, Matthew Green 44. Battle on for second. Earl Beckner going on juniors number 25 Beckner on the inside of the track falls back in line more sparks is the 75 car I believe bottoming out going into the corners a nice start to this one for the sportsman side by side down the front straightaway between the 63 of George Alexander and the 75 of Don Keithley Keithley again sideways. Beckner now looking to the inside of Timmy Todd Jr. for third. A couple of good battles out on the racetrack behind leader Danny Fry. Oh, Alexander just squeezes between himself and Don Keithley there. Earl Beckner up to third. Can he close on the top to the broken away? Blake Clouser in the 16. Oh, some contact between 63 and 75 on the back straightaway. Alexander and Keithley get together. They keep it going. We're still in the green. Car number 12, Danny Fry, is showing the way by about four car lengths over the 44. Matthew Green, things settling down with Fry the leader. Matthew Green starting to close in on the race leader. Danny Fry gonna have company here for Matthew Green. Blake Clouser has been able to make it up about halfway through the pack, but still runs in the seventh spot. Up front, Matthew Green closing in on Danny Fry. Travis Devendorf trials a beat on the 75 of Don Keithley. Keithley lets it hang out. Keithley 75, pressure's coming up on it. And car's starting to get a little bit loose on him. Keithley might be holding up the field behind him. Battle for the lead, heating up a distant third. Earl Beckner, Timmy Todd fourth. And hanging on to the final spot in the top five, Don Keithley in the 75. Russ Moore going to go a lap down to the leaders. Ten laps complete this time by. Ten down, 15 to go. Apologize for no scoreboard tonight. It's been one of those nights. Things work and then they don't. Here comes the seven. Travis Devendorf looking for fifth. Devendorf inside of the 75 of Keith Leaf. Fifth spot is the battle on the back straightaway. Devendorf's going to take it over. Here comes Matthew Green. Danny Fry giving him a lane to the outside. And we got trouble, it's Keithley, and a couple more. John Keithley goes around in turn three. That car started to get loose on him. Didn't see the start of it, but Keithley is around and Ron Whaley spins to avoid. So yellow flag is out. Looks like the 75 got up there, got a little bit loose and around she went. No help from what I'm told. So Danny Fry, car number 12, is your race leader. Well, if you're just getting here, you missed a lot. Heat races were wild. Here we go to the Sparkle Bright Pools Choose Zone. Danny Fry, the leader to the outside, green to the inside, and here come the rest of them. And no issues there. Everybody makes their choice. 
lap or so shy of halfway here. Your leader is Danny Fry up on the outside as the Daytona Dodge American Auto pace car pulls in. Green flag is out. Matthew Green gets a very good start. They are bunched up as they head into turn one. Danny Fry looking to use that high side momentum around us. Ron Whaley and a little bit of contact there. And Russ Moore says, hey, that looks fun. He locks it up and slides to avoid. So we'll try that again. We didn't get a lap in, so we'll go back to that exact restart order. 10 complete, 15 laps to go. And Russ Moore is going to hang back a little bit more this time, just, just to be safe. Here they come. Green flag is back out, and Danny Fry jumps on the gas into the lead. Danny Fry, the leader, Matthew Green in second. Those two breaking away from the field. Earl Beckner and Timmy Todd walk side by side for third. Beckner down on the bottom, the white 71 car, trying to hold off one of the cars he drove around this speedway. Timmy Todd and Beckner close together for third. The top two scoot away. Matthew Green to the bottom for the race lead. Off to number two. Danny Fry able to hold on in that blue number 12. Green gets squeezed down on the bottom of the racetrack. Green powers up, lets the back end dance around all the way to the wall. And the 12 car continues to lead. Danny Fry way up the racetrack, leaving that bottom open, but you see that high side momentum. Get you a good launch down these long straightaways. That'll keep that car up front. Matthew Green down on the bottom. The car will get tight as they come down here and Fry able to hang on the lead. Matthew Green. Danny Fry side by side for the lead, just past halfway. Matthew Green, orange 44, trying to close in, but Danny Fry doing a whale of a job right now in the blue machine. Jay Clouser dancing around off the corner. Side by side battle for fourth. Timmy Todd trying to hold off Travis Devendorf in the seventh. Fry continues to lead. Matthew Green continues to battle to the inside. Danny Fry in the 12. Matthew Green in the 44. Those two breaking away from the rest of the field. Matthew Green takes the lead, but yellow flag is out. And we need everybody off the quarter midget track. Everybody off the quarter midget track. Nobody should be at the quarter midget track. Nobody should be on that quarter midget track, please. That is off limits. Yellow lights came on on the quarter midget track and yellow flag comes out on the speedway. When the yellow flag comes out. The yellow lights went on down there in turn one and two. And in the interest of everybody being on the same page, the yellows come out around the big track. Danny Fry still the leader because the caution came out. We went back to the last complete lap. Scoring 15 complete, 10 to go this time. Danny Fry trying to hold off Matthew Greenfield, bunches up. Danny Fry, the control car, leads him all the way to the edge of the box. And he gets a good launch. Devendorf in the seven, knocking on the door now in the top three. Devendorf a little bit behind in his heat race today, but oh, 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 back there and Blake Clouser about came together in a big way off too. Big run for Alexander, three wide, middle of the pack. Hold your breath on these restarts, folks. Car number 12, Danny Fry still out in front. Matthew Green trying to get the 44 wound back up. Fry, Green, and Devendorf now the top three. Earl Beckner drops back to fourth. Clouser into the top five. Here comes the driver, Luke James McKay, to the outside of Timmy Todd. Todd beginning to fade late in the race. Lead battle, heating back up on the back straight away. Matthew Green, Danny Fry. One and two is separating from the rest of the pack. 
Here comes Green to the bottom once again. He got him on that end before the caution came out. Now trying to do it again as the laps click away. Inside of 10 to go. Green right to the bottom, drives to the inside. A little bit of contact. Everybody hangs onto it. Here comes Devendorf. Danny Fry leads by a bumper cover. Matthew Green's got position. Can he slide up and take the line away? He's got him. Matthew Green, driver out of Orlando, takes the lead on the back straight away. Danny Fry slides back to second. A little bump and run there for Matthew Green. Devendorf trying to close in. I don't know if he's got enough time. He needed that battle to continue. And now he's up on the wheel trying to get everything he's got left in that car. And he's coming. Seven, Travis Devendorf trying to hit the afterburners. He may need the assistance of a yellow to get in there. We'll see. Not over yet. Matthew Green trying to pull away now. Danny Fry might have burned up his tires a little bit. Oh, the hood coming loose on the 16 of Matthew, or the 16 of Blake Clouser. Hood coming loose, probably had a hood pin get sheared off with some of that contact a few laps ago. Matthew Green, Danny Fry, Travis Devendorf, the top three. Oh, James McCaig dancing around off turn four. He hangs onto it up front. Matthew Green with a big lead. Blake Clouser trying to get Earl Beckner now for fourth. Two to go this time by. Matthew Green comes to two to go. Battle might be on for second as Green begins to pull away. Matthew Green, Danny Fry with a heck of a battle inside of 10 to go, but Matthew Green has hit clean air and he's pulling away as he comes to the white flag. Matthew Green looking to pick up the first sportsman win of the regular season. Field pretty much single file. Matthew Green, Danny Fry, Travis Devendorf, your top three. Earl Beckner, Blake Klaus are the top five. And here he comes into three and out of turn number four. First sportsman win of the year will go to Matthew Green in column 44. Danny Fry second, Travis Devendorf third. Earl Beckner, we got one spinning. Look at him in turn four. A couple of them against the wall, and Ron Whaley slides in. Checkers and wreckers to finish this one. Alexander went around. I believe Moxley's in it in the 37. Whaley in the two. And position still up for grabs here, perhaps. We'll see how they score it. They're trying to bring those cars across the line. Whoever can get back first will be eighth. Here comes Ron Whaley. Whaley able to pull away. He brings it down the front straight away, and he'll beat the 63 and 37. The race is still on. Who's next? Oh, boy, what a race. What a finish. Where's Matthew? Where'd Matthew Green go? Now, here comes Ricky Moxley. He wants that next spot. Oh, Matthew Green's back there behind all the people. Here comes Ricky Moxley. He'll finish the race at approximately two and one quarter mile an hour. But, hey, he finished. He has some work to do, but he's finished. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes your winner, Matthew Green. Let him hear it. That's what we like to see. Sportsman division, there's some sportsmanship. Good hard race between those two. And we'll quickly talk to our top three. Going to make this quick once we start talking. Well, sir, you had a rocket ship tonight. You just had to find that clean air. And you worked and worked to get by Danny Fry and then the phantom yellow lights came on on the quarter major track, and you had to do it all over again. Watch, so I'm congratulations. Glad. I'm glad it was fun for y'all because it was a workout for me. That's the most fun I've had racing this place in a long time. A lot of people here don't have much respect in racing, but that man right there, we put on a show, and I hope all y'all enjoyed it because we raced door-to-door -door for 25 laps, and that's hard to find here anymore. So I'm glad y'all enjoyed the show. I love seeing the crowd like this. I appreciate all the fans coming out. But without Barbara Pierce, Chad Pierce, Butch Pierce, my dad, my mom, Richard Griffiths, they come with me all the time to racetrack whenever I need help, and none of these guys get paid. They come to hang out with us, and this is what racing is about. I couldn't do it without any of these guys. We got Bruns General Contractors and B&L Custom Creations. Without them, they wouldn't be able to buy these tires that EJ supplies with, and they're a rocket ship. Well, Matt, and just a uh, phenomenal race, and congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from Matthew Green, our race winner. He knew all the questions I was going to ask him and took care of it. Appreciate that. Great win. And now let's hear from the man who comes up one spot short, Danny Fry. Like Matthew said, great race in there. You tried to hold him off. You had him until about the last five laps or so. What did you need to hold him at bay? 
I needed to be better down in three and four. He, he was a lot better than me down there. I seemed to hold him off pretty good in one and two. Uh, but once he got under me, I had nothing for him. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Clean, close racing. I mean, when you're right on top of each other and you barely touch, I mean, that's the way this should be. Uh, he raced me clean. I appreciate Matthew. He gave me all the room I, I wanted and, and passed me when he needed to or, or when he could. Uh, but yeah, three and four was just killing me a little bit tonight. So we'll work on it. We'll be back. We're going to try and run for points. I think I'll be able to this year. First time I've ever run for points at this track. So uh, we'll see if we can get it done this year. Well, you, sir, are off to a good start. Do you have anybody you'd like to thank? I uh, thank my family. I got a bunch of family actually here tonight in the grandstands. Um, my dad, my mom, my wife, always. She's the best. She spots for me. She did a phenomenal job. Um, me and my dad, I mean, we work on this thing. It's, it's just us. So all the speed is, is me and him. So uh, we'll, we'll keep hunting it. Well, you guys have found something. Congratulations. Second place for Danny Friday night in car number 12. Two people. That's all it takes to run fast if you know what you're doing, and they certainly do. Third place tonight, where did he come from? Travis Devendorf. Man, you're getting used to this podium thing. Looked like you struggled a bit in the heat race tonight. What did you guys find before the feature? Yeah, so our heat race, uh, it didn't go as planned, um, but we did want to lay back a little bit just in case anything got hairy, and you never know how, those, uh, how the starts of the races are going to shake up. So I didn't mind being a little bit back for the heat. I uh, didn't know how, how the draw was going to go, so I didn't know where that would put us in the feature. Uh, but it seems to have worked out pretty well. Uh, we certainly got to race tonight. Uh, I was just telling my crew, I think I've, I've won less exciting races. So I had a really good time tonight. I couldn't be happier to be back and to put on such a good show, our first official race of this season. So uh, I couldn't be here for Speed Weeks because of uh, some engine trouble. So it feels so good to be back and to have had such a pretty good performance tonight. Obviously, we're, we're not up there in the top spot. We have a little bit to work on. But overall, I'm feeling really good about this season. We're off to a pretty good start and definitely a fun one. So I'm excited for these fans. I think they're going to have a great season this year. Yeah, they're going to want to watch all these sportsman races. And real quick, anybody else you'd like to thank tonight? Yeah, of course. Uh, we've got our team out tonight. we got my dad, of course. He's out here, my number one supporter most of these races. But we also have Bobby and Debbie Sheldon. They are the best pit crew we could ever ask for. They worked all day today to make sure this car made it to this point in the night because it was looking a little shaky earlier. We had the radiator out and we're doing a bunch of tweaking just trying to get this thing to stop overheating. So uh, they put in the work today. It was a great day of, uh, of teamwork. <laughs> so we, we made it though. It was all good. So I'd love to throw them a big thank you. They did an amazing job. And of course to all the fans who finally showed up for family fun night because we finally didn't get rained out. So it's been great. I'm glad to see you all here and hopefully having a good family fun night. Well, it's off to a great start. Congratulations. Travis Devendorf brings it home in third. We'll head back up top side. Great way to start the feature action. Let's see what the Bomber Bees have in action for us. 21 laps. Like I said, give them an extra lap. We're going to honor George Dom. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.